Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 17 of Sonic the Hedgehog IDW Comic Review. Now, as you know, IDW are now the holders of Sonic the Hedgehog and have been doing their own continuation from Sonic Forces. And the story is, the next story that after Metal Sonic is meant to cover the Sonbot virus, which has started to spread and infecting Sonic as well. And the cover has Sonic going against an army of Zombots, where we pick up in the last issue, and Vector getting word on the phone saying, And Sonic is infected too? Jeez, thanks for the info, Tails. That sounded serious. What's the situation? Details are sketchy. And so you can tell Charmy's a little bit scared if, if it's going to happen to Seaside City. Victor saying, the world's a big place. I'm sure we're fine. Suddenly a Zombot comes in. And this is where Espo tries to use one of his shurikens also. And says, no effect. Don't worry, Espio. I'll protect you. So pretty much they have to kind of get out of the city. And they find out that Eggman's infected Seaside City, with everyone trying to escape and trying to get out of out, uh, the city alive. So they pretty much realise they can't get up to it, but decide to do whatever they can and try and rescue survivors. So we see how Amy gets word that Seaside City is under attack, and that they need backup. So, pretty much, Victor says, What helps on the way? But who knows how much or how soon? We're on our own, boys. So, they decide to split into groups to look for survivors, as well as using the docks to kind of get out alive. So, they split up to help find survivors, with Charmy sort of taking on the Zombot, SBO. As well as Victor helping a truck full of civilians and able to get them to safety. So we see how Victor goes, No fair ganging up on a guy who can't hit you back. So we see how Sonic helps out, and you can tell Victor's a little f afraid that Sonic might affect him, but Sonic reinsures him that as long as he doesn't touch him, he's alright. And as long as he keeps going fast, the virus won't affect him permanently. So they pretty much have Sonic to help sort out the problem. We see how everyone tries to get out alive. Everything goes AWOL when a young woman is scratched, but says that she's fine. And this is where you can tell she wants to get out alive, but Vector knows that this can't happen and traps her, her with some cars. And you can kind of tell Vector does feel responsible. And this is where you can tell Charmy doesn't want to admit it's too risky. And says, how could you be so mean? We're supposed to help everyone. I'm doing the best I can. And you can tell that Charmy doesn't want to admit that the virus is too dangerous. And that they can't save everyone. So they pretty much head off. And Sonic Mask able to rescue more civilians. Even seeing another transport ship getting getting ready to pick up civilians. And we see how Sonic realising that he's got a nasty feeling that he wants to protect everyone. And also knows that he can't turn into a Zombot without any like consequences. So goes super fast. Managing to burn off the virus. Saying, faster! I've got to get back to them faster! And we see how, basically, they manage to rescue whoever they can, and load into the transport ship. So, pretty much, Charmy realising they barely saved anybody, and Charmy wants to believe he can help that woman that Vector trapped. But, you can kind of tell Vector tries to call him back, to little to no effect. Espio tries to get him, to little to no effect. And, Vector says, Charmy, come back! That's an order! Charmy! And as soon as he tries to rescue the young woman, Charmy is quickly ended up affected, kind of showing that he that his that his like conscience got the better of him. 
and we see how Sonic shows up, and that Vector and Espio point out what happened to Charmy. So Sonic offering to go to help find Charmy. And leaving Vector and Espio sad that one of their comrades ended up getting infected, and knowing that Sonic's gonna probably end up end up paying for Charmy's mistakes. And this is the story. So issue 17 is a good is a good starting point because it kind of goes into a bigger city. We see how Team Chaotic are more trying to help the problem. You can kind of tell Charmy wants to believe they can help everyone, even though the Zombot virus makes it clear whatever's left of them is gone. So I think the story definitely deserves, once again, a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.